Hello everyone, and welcome back to Sorry We're Closed. Last time felt almost like a comic book origin story where we went from a somewhat cynical convenience store worker and a dream led us down this dark rabbit hole finding out that not only was there a whole demonic parallel world to ours, but that we'd been given the ability to see beyond that veil. Not only that, it turns out our friend Robin is involved, potentially a demon themselves, and they gave us this cool gun. I mean, look at that first person. Do any of you have a friend who would do that for you? Anyway, we're down here in the abandoned metro station, which apparently is like a gateway to this world. Closed for some time and now broken into by us. Uh, there's some kind of creature down here that we seemingly can't kill. But we're gonna have to walk past it because we now have the key to get into a computer down the hall. Well, unless there's somebody right there, that's, that's an issue. That is an issue. You know, from the colors, you might not know it, but this is, in fact, a survival horror game. This feels a lot like the screenshots I've seen of Silent Hill 3. We got an achievement for squishing the first bug. Do I get an achievement for this? No, that one was just cruelty. I'm... Wow. There's something here. Okay. We let you get close. We snap you in place and we shoot at your heart. That's the best way to kill a demon. This game has a really unique combat system. If we allow you to walk in, it doesn't quite have the same effect. Okay. It looks like a computer supply cabinet. There's a sturdy lock on the door. I might be able to pick it if I find something suitable. How about this? How about this? No, it's locked either way. Some things remain the same. It's very important that we look over as much area as we can in this way because, well, we don't know what we're missing otherwise. A staff workstation. I don't see anything of importance. Like, I just got jump scared by whatever that is. Is that a rat impaled on the wall? God, they're just like hung up. I feel like these weapons remind me of something, but I can't remember what it was. I feel like there was a game years ago where all of your guns were alive. Uh, can't go that way. Can we? No. And as for you, it sounds like you're on the left. I can... I can put you down temporarily, but that's not really good enough. We need to go back where you are. No, come on. There we go. Bang, bang, bang. <laughs> we even get a little perfect indicator. That is so satisfying. We've got to be a little stiff, though, because we can't move while we're in first-person view. Yes, come on. There. Oh, come on. Bang, 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 bang. You're frozen in place when we hit your heart. So that also gives us a little bit of extra time. The trick is to be accurate and not be overwhelmed. Oh, there's another body on the ground. You've got a screwdriver. I bet we can use that to get into the supply cabinet. All right, take it. The screwdriver has a fine tip. Could be useful. There's something about low-poly corpses in games like this. Oh. I've got to imagine there's a reason to do that, right? Because you gave me an achievement the first time? There's a note here. Notice to all staff, please be advised. Someone has been attacking staff and passengers. Please remain alert at all times and check the company message board for further details with regard to the ongoing situation. And that's got to be none other than Jenny, the millionaire who seemingly made a deal with the devil, or whatever you make a deal with, and ended up going down a dark rabbit hole. It's empty. I don't think I need to open this. Well, there's a smear leading towards it. There might be something valuable. Nope, nothing changes. 
got that. A jar of pickled cucumber. Not my favorite thing to eat. I suppose we could take it. It might come in handy. Uh, it's well preserved. I hate pickles. So what do we do with it then? Oh, you know what? Hmm, maybe we could give it to the, the the ghost in the stall? If we can make it back that far. We could also use our third eye to get through here. Maybe act as a barrier that at least keeps the other guy out. Come on, somebody notice me. Somebody notice me. Go. Look at you. There's a shiny artifact here. Oh, we can uh, we can take it. There we go. Ancient halo. And we can look at that in our collection and see what it does. A circular object that resembles an angel's halo, lightweight and brittle. I've still yet to ascertain what they're about, but our friend Marty had talked about wanting to sell them to a collector. A collector who never showed up. Now, I'm gonna keep this down for now because we may have to stun that guy. He's all the way back there. Okay, we could save here. And I bet we can use this to pry that open. Gotcha. There's a computer keyboard inside. Okay. The keyboard has a full numpad. This could be useful. You know, we never got the chance to see if that was an issue, but if that's really one of the things holding us back... Or actually, no, because she did say... She did say it's asking for an ID, but there's no way to enter it. See if we can get this to work. You're down there. Alright, that's useful. We haven't really had to engage with you much. Now, yeah, it's just a free-floating monitor. We can put that down. That's better. Now I can type. It's requesting a user ID, which I have right here. Let's enter it. Power has been restored. The train should be running again now. Excellent. Perfect, that's just what we needed. Who would do something like this? Somebody's hanging these corpses up. I mean, Jenny seems to be the queen of the underground. Literally resorting to petty robbery for, well, I say petty robbery, she's also axe murdering them. I feel like that's a detail that shouldn't be left out. safe in the back there. Robin, what are you doing here? Nice job restoring the power. The train should help us cover some distance. Oh, are we leaving here? Because I had some ghosts I wanted to talk to on the street. Us? You're coming too? That's a first. Yep. I didn't find what I was looking for, but I found something worthwhile. Just as well. You'll need it. I'll go ahead and open up the train. See you on board, yeah? Okay. I like these camera angles. I normally really am not a fan of fixed cameras at all when we're going to have to be doing combat, but the fact that we can move into this first-person view and it's integrated seamlessly, it, it kind of takes away a lot of the frustrations that that would normally cause. Maybe we can bring you some pickles. Oh, is this for me? Something nice and old? Okay. This is very sour. Ugh. Blech. Gross. Gross. Curse this crunchy pickled cucumber. Who would eat such nonsense? How dare you feed me something so putrid? Punishment is in order. Ow! Hey, let go! 
I'm sorry. So sorry. I'm just so hungry. I haven't eaten for days. I've had these cravings for so long. I fed you like 15 minutes ago. I need sustenance before I wither into a husk. So, do you have anything to eat to satisfy my ungodly cravings? You hurt me. Thankfully, we can get more health right here. Now this is water. Um, yeah, I don't know. I've been through this entire place. I don't know what else you want. get more bullets from the management office. Always welcome. So, train doors are open. Like I said, I don't know where else to look, because we can't go back any further than this. Ooh, there's something here. There's a shiny artifact here. Okay, I'll take that. Warrior of Change. Oop. I saw some ammo back there. I'll certainly like that. Uh, I don't see Robin anywhere. I would really like their expertise in fighting demons in this moment. Cry Fear has taught me that a train isn't a safe place to be. In first person, this really does sort of feel like Anthology of the Killer meets Lost in Vivo. Maybe we can go through these cars? This is the end of the train. Move up then. Here they come. Well, that was pretty sick. And let's reimburse ourselves the ammo. I think I might be able to hear more up ahead. Nope. Okay, now there's water here, but I can only carry three at a time, and I'm already full up. So you guys can run right through this stuff. You're not limited. Pistol ammo. Snap. Nah. I've really got to remember to already be in first person when I start aiming for you. Oh god, it is really stocking me up right now. The thing is, yeah, it's not always the most convenient time to do it is the problem, and again, you can't move while you're snapped. Move ahead. No, but our handy-dandy axe can make short work of these boxes and boards. We should keep in mind that there is a decent range on this, so we don't have to be right next to something to use it. Anybody up ahead? Anybody at all? Once more, I'm assuming this goes somewhere. Uh, we could heal, and I suppose we might as well. This is extremely easy thus far. Just in terms of how generous it's being. I mean, it would have been pretty easy for us to run out of ammo early on. Hello, there's another Echo. We're following you in your pursuit of endless money. You spoke to the same demon we did! Look. Look what I got. All of this is for you. She really did find someone to spend her money on. 
Isn't it great? There's more where this came from. All you have to do is spare me. Please. Please. <laughs> Jenny. My lovely Jenny. We both know this is not what either of us truly desire. I can feel it in your heart. You are desperately lonely. Just as I am. Please look at me. Piss off! The only love I have is my love of money. I'll never look at you, no matter how many eyes you give me. Your time is up. Jenny, if you do not look at me of your own volition, I shall take your eyes and have the pleasure of helping you to do so. No. No! They will be returned to you when you are ready to appreciate me. <laughs> so that's what we're dealing with. A demon that demands our appreciation. And I, I suppose what we were seeing, that was how it presented to us. It would probably have more success if it showed us that godlike human form. Or I suppose just godlike godly form. But if those books in the library are any indication, maybe demons are just disgraced gods. Maybe it's past that point. Ammo. You're handling this way better than I imagined. Benedict's predictions were right. Benedict? Are you seeing someone new? If half a millennia counts as new, sure. 500 years and not a peep about him? I thought I was your closest friend! It's a situation ship. He lives in the abandoned church. You'll get your chance to meet him. Oh, okay. <laughs> Situationship. 500 years. Unbelievable. He'll fill in the blanks on how to fix your issue, as it were. I've got a general idea, but he's really good at calculating these kinds of things. It's best if you hear it from him. Whatever. We'll get to that later. First, we need to find a way out of here. And I found just the thing to help us along the way. What is that? It's a heartbreaker. It's got an angelic power, used to shatter the hearts of the unworthy, destroying them immediately. I could have made use of something like that years ago. Ha! Well, you have it now. The heartbreaker allows you to build up charge when you attack a demon. Let me show you how it works. Shoot the targets. Each time you damage them, the Heartbreaker will gain a little charge. Okie dokie. Bang. 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 Just a little, though. I wonder, is it tied to damage? It seems like it is. Nice. The Heartbreaker won't charge very quickly on weak demons stronger demons, you can combo their weak points for bonus Heartbreaker Charge, so those nice kills we got earlier would have been worth more. I want you to attack these target's weak points without missing any shots. If you manage it, you receive a perfect combo and double the Heartbreaker Charge gained on the final weak point. Right, let's try it. Amazing. You have a keen eye. The Heartbreaker is well on its way to a full charge now. This time we'll try an even stronger demon. One that even my trusty Hellhound pistol can't defeat under normal circumstances. You. Attack the target until the Heartbreaker is fully charged. Another perfect combo should do it. Let's load up. Okay. 
That wasn't perfect, though, because we missed one. Outstanding. With the Heartbreaker fully charged, you can unleash a Heartbreak Shot. The ultimate coup de grace. Take aim and defeat the target with a Heartbreaker Shot. Be careful, though. If you miss, you'll have to charge the Heartbreaker up again. Okay, and it's glowing. Look at that. So, go like that. Go for the shot. And... Heartbreak. That was cool. I knew you had it in you. The Heartbreaker is a powerful angelic weapon that can defeat most demons in one shot. Remember, any damage you inflict on a demon will charge the Heartbreaker. You'll charge it faster by getting perfect combos on weak points. Even with the angelic Heartbreaker, you're not invincible, Michelle. You might find that one shot doesn't always get the job done. Some demons need more beating. Luckily, there's nothing like that around here. Come on. There's something I want you to see in the next carriage. Is it more ammo? Because I'm now realizing that the reason it built us up so much is because we used a lot on that. Yeah, there actually is. Still ammo. You should take a look for yourself. Yeah, I kind of figured that was coming. She's becoming one of those creatures. Eyes. They can have them. A, a real entrepreneur like me can sniff out money a million miles away. That's right. Like a hungry rat seeking cheese. I'll hoard everything I find. My offers have never been turned down. Everyone has their price. Every penny counts. Every penny. I wonder what happened to Jenny in the end. Maybe she was one of those gross rats we got rid of earlier. Having that curse looks brutal. Curse to become the worst version of ourselves, I suppose. I mean, it would be brutal. I mean, if you didn't have me by your side. You'll be fine, Michelle. I won't let anything bad happen to you. Benedict would never let me hear the end of it. You can confirm that yourself once we find a way out of here. Something feels off, though. We're seeing these memories from Jenny's point of view. This must mean these echoes belong to her. If the echoes are still here... Hmm. I don't like the sound of that. I nearly forgot we were on the train from hell. What do you think it was? Dunno. That's not what I want to hear from an angel. <laughs> Hellbent. Michelle, go to the back of the train. <gasps> no! Michelle! Whatever happens, find your way to Benedict at the church. And if there was ever a time to use the Heartbreaker, it's now. Robin! Uh... Might be a bit difficult to charge it up like this. Come on. It was a lie when they said money can't buy happiness. Can't help but smile every time I'm stacking it. Every once in a while, I'm charge. But cream the most accurate. That soundtrack? Whoa. <laughs> I gotta say, it almost seems out of place, but I, not in this game, and I do honestly really enjoy having vocals in the score. Bang, bang, bang. Oh god, where was your thing? We still have, we still have health. Come on. Nope. Come on. 
Oh, you got you got little monkeys. Come on up here. Okay, sometimes it seems like it's not actually possible to hit you. There you go. Like it's obscured behind parts of your body. I wonder if this is all original. I hope it's all original. Probably is. Perfect. Perfect to charge. You're done. Ew. I really hope this worked. It doesn't seem entirely dead, though. <sighs> Robin didn't deserve to go like this. What will I do without them? <sighs> Once again, this thing doesn't seem entirely dead. There's no way we can, like, finish it. It reacts, but it doesn't matter. Okay, what well, can we see back here? I've also noticed that we cannot have uh, the third eye open while running. Yeah, it's all completely closed off. Another door like the one to our roof the other day. This looks like the door in my apartment last night. It's the only way to go now. I hope I can find Benedict. I owe Robin that. Huh, we're actually, uh... Only five of six critters crushed, so I guess it does count for something. Rank three? Come on, no deaths, 82% accuracy. You've got to be kidding. I deserve more than this. Maybe it's because I consumed too much health. I shouldn't have consumed the one that I did just for kicks, basically. Where the hell am I this time? <gasps> Michelle. Someplace I don't want to be. I haven't formally invited you yet, but I can forgive your intrusion. Have you come to declare your love to me? I'm ready to accept it. There's no way in hell. My friend is dead because of you. I don't know where I am or how I got here, but I'm leaving. I never want to see you again. No one denies the Duchess. You can't come here without being asked and then simply leave, Michelle. Well, we have a name. It's rude. It shows no decorum. No sense of consideration. We can work on that. I have a lot of time, which gives me a lot of patience. That is not a patient sound. I know multifarious method. I know multifarious methods to guide our relationship towards the right path. Wait. That's your arm. That's what you were showing us the other night. Can't let your tantrums get out of hand. However, I don't want to cause you any permanent damage before the curse is fully set. If you wish to leave, you can enter the door I use to access your room. N no. No way am I going through your creepy door. Suit yourself. I don't control you. Not yet. This place will be your home soon. You may as well familiarize yourself with it. Without Robin's guidance, we're pretty much at the mercy of this thing. You've got doors to everywhere. We can right-click to look at first person anytime. 
the Duchess creepy door to my bedroom. It's locked. We can't examine any of these others, but this is an offer you've made many times before, huh? I wonder if any have ever accepted. Of course, if they have, that means there's not much point in us doing so, because the outcome is the same. This creature looks familiar. I had thought that the face looks kind of like you, but we did see it on the mural next to the bearded guy on the uh, in the dream realm. I see you auto-saving. I also see that one of these doors is not like the others. It's another of those eye creatures. We've been completely disarmed. We meet again, wretched woman. Oh god, you're the same individual I am so sorry about last time. You look familiar. Michelle. Michelle. How could you forget this? Of course I do! Don't be coy with me. I was doing an excellent job at blocking your progress. Did you, though? I would say I did all right, considering the circumstances. There aren't many victims here who managed to find a way to step outside their room. They're sealed inside. Why are you here? There's so many... There's so many room doors. What are they for? Each room is where a victim lies in wait for their next visit. You're a victim too? I thought you were another demon. Quite the opposite. I was once part of a cohort of angels. An endless mission as suppressors of demonic activity. It was an awfully dull life. Devoid of any senses. At least you have some sort of existence. My friend. I, I just saw my friend. They're gone. Get used to it. You thought the human world was cruel? Well, you'll see how much worse things can be. How did you end up like this? I'm not capable of love. It's not part of my design. Rejection leads to torture from the Duchess, as a means to try and coax love out of us. It's the same for every victim. My flesh exposed, stretched, and grafted to this room was one way of trying to get me to break. No matter how hard the Duchess tries, it's not going to happen. So you're still fighting. Everyone is, I guess. How do we get rid of the curse? Don't be so silly. The curse will do you wonders. If there is a way to break it, I definitely don't know it. And I hope to never learn it either. How ungrateful you are. Well, it has been the source of our main advantage in combat, I suppose. But it also hasn't fully taken hold yet. Why are you trying to stop me? In all my existence, I never felt more alive. You're like the rest of us. You might be intriguing for a few days, but eventually the Duchess' interest in you will wane. Before you know it, you'll become part of the routine torture regime. And you'll be thankful for it. As it stands, you're getting in the way with your rebellion. I need to feel, Michelle. Don't ruin this for me. So basically, this thing captures angels and turns them into Cenobites. And the reason for that is because I guess being an angel isn't the greatest thing. I'll see you again, wretched woman. So I'm just a wretched woman from now on, huh? I suppose I would find that kind of endearing in Michelle's position. Well, Lazy Town has had some budget cuts. Hello. Uh, even here, the operator can reach me, huh? This place looks... fancy. Doesn't it? It's just a farce, though. Don't be fooled by the illusion. You'll be met with something that better suits you soon. Well, I hope that's true. 
In the meantime, let's save. Is the furniture here as comfy as the other place? I don't feel like sitting right now. Okay, let's find out who you are. Hotel staff. A new arrival. Welcome to the Duchess's Hotel. You must be one of the victims. That nasty cut on your forehead gives it away immediately. It's the Duchess's signature move. I gathered. Wow. I mean, really, wow. And there's a lot of folks here, too. I can't open this door. There's a sweet smell of perfume coming through it. And of course, this place has to let you know who's in charge. Look at all this, you know? For a third-person fixed camera game, they sure do put a lot of love into these environments. Michelle! I heard about your curse, but I didn't think I'd see you here already. Look at you, a skeleton with a butterfly over your face like a mask. Do I know you? <gasps> it's me, Clarissa! Girl, don't you recognize a friend when you see one? Clarissa! I, I had no idea! Robin I can see as a demon, but you? I didn't think that would be your style. And you're right! I'm not a demon. I'm an angel. Don't ever associate me with Robin ever again. Yuck. <gasps> hey, don't talk about Robin like that. Robin is... Robin is gone. I'm sorry, girl. I get it. This world is mean. And sadly, you'll have to get used to it too, now that you're part of it. I don't know if I ever will. Look at this place. It's infested with demons. Isn't it dangerous for an angel to be here? What are you doing here? I'm glad you asked. <laughs> I thought I'd finally get rid of Daryl. You've seen Daryl's awful treatment of me. His business practices are sloppy too. It's costing me my reputation. Seems a bit beneath an angel. His bar should bring in all kinds of hopeless demons for me to exterminate. But I'm starting to miss my quotas. He caught me extinguishing a demon, and is threatening to kick me out of the bar. So that's what the other night was about. You know, it's a good thing he's so dumb, because he really didn't let it on from what he was saying. I guess he was kind of downplaying it, like everything else everyone else does. <laughs> everything that's happened to you is Daryl's fault, too. He's bad for business. We need to make him pay. If we can find some way to get rid of him, I think we'd both be better off. I need a little more time to think of a plan. We'll hit him where it hurts. I'll be at the bar tomorrow. Catch up with me there if you're interested. Uh, being there is a huge if at this moment. And now that we look at it, yeah, using the third eye... ...reveals this place's true, decrepit state. Even the soundtrack changes. The music that echoes through the place is muffled and distant when we do it this way. That's really cool. The floor is vibrating near here. There's a gentle sound of music coming from this one. I can hear what I presume is a cat. I want to go see the kitty. I can hear a distant voice singing. We've got to look at pretty much everything here twice. Distracted? I never take my eye off the ball. I've been hard at work finding you some of the best candidates you've ever had. Uh... The new girl is a surefire winner. It's not the candidates, Daryl. The portions for the main meals are smaller than usual. We've not had any new menu items for some time, either. The menu has become dull, Daryl. 
there's a certain experience my fellow kinship expects when residing at the empire of the most powerful demon this side of the world. <laughs> yeah, that's right, Daryl. Jester Dan. I don't know what it is, but I trust Jester Dan with my life. What does the menu have to do with me? I didn't sign up for that kind of petty work. You're my right hand, Daryl. All my problems are yours to fix. You've been spending a lot of time in the kitchen as of late. Why not use your familiarity with it to enhance what's available? You must also fix our meat shortage. Demand for both our hotel guests and wholesale buyers are not being met. Yeah, Daryl. Why don't you do your job right for once? But I have plans tonight. Not anymore. I expect to see something new to sample on the menu, and our kitchen to be run according to schedule by tomorrow. So we were thrust into this world, but it's starting to seem like everybody knows about this but me. Marty's admirer. You're here too? Where's the buffet? I hope I'm not late. You've got to be kidding me. And there's your gaggle of yes-men. <laughs> I love that you call them Cerberus. That's beautiful to me. The area is secured. Don't try anything funny. What are you doing here, dead girl? <gasps> dead girl? The one who's ended up dead is Robin. I was warned about you. I should have listened. Yeah? What are you going to do about it? I don't know, probably like kill you or something. Screw you, Daryl. I'll hope karma finds you. Uh... Who cares? At least you have friends that can die. Oakley is all I've got. If I lose him, I lose everything. I've got bigger problems than you. The Duchess has me under a microscope, and I still need to sort out something for me and Oakley's anniversary tomorrow. Piss off, will ya? Honestly, you're... <laughs> under as much stress as most people at this stage. I honestly don't know how much I can blame you for. Receptionist says, you must be the Duchess's latest object of desire. What a pleasure to meet you. I'm sure we'll become quite acquainted during your eternal stay here. How can I assist you? What is this place? This is the Hotel of the Duchess, one of the strongest demon empires to exist. Many of our kind come here to engage in a civilized manner, much like how things were for us disgraced ones before the Great Divide. How can I assist you? So, we've really got to unlearn, like, our typical view of angels and demons. That's what I'm learning. They're essentially just opposing kingdoms, rather than a binary good and evil. They work more or less the same way. I want to go home. Have you tried your doorway to your personal living space? You ought to get used to your personal doorway, as it will be the only door you'll ever use once the curse is settled. I'd rather not use that door while I can still avoid it. Then I'm afraid you'll have to use our main entrance and find your own way home. About the Duchess. The Duchess is exemplary, an inspiration to all of us disgraced from heaven. Their mission to find love and return to good graces will pave the way for all of us desperate to reconnect with our old forms. Yeah. I mean, some have interpreted... Some have interpreted Satan in the Bible as not being evil, but rather as a provider of knowledge. Maybe... Maybe that's the case here as well. Where all, their only crime is... Well, living in a way that isn't through God's will. If we are dealing with, like, a monotheistic God in this sense, it seems like they all could fit that bill. What's the deal with you guys? Because you're looking a lot like something out of Lost in Vivo. Demon in Dress. Finding suitable clothes to blend in with civilized demon society was tricky. Demon in hen. We've only just arrived here. We've heard great things about the buffet. Hmm? 
And I guess it's also just a regular hotel. There's a newspaper here. I've never seen it before. It's called the Hellfire Times. An end to suffering. As we are all so familiar with, endless suffering is one of the key experiences of a demon. One of us believes they have a plan to cure it all. I've had the chance to interview the Duchess about how we might unlock our existence as demons and find the path to healing. So, Duchess, thank you for your time, and let me start with our first question. What do you think is the answer to ending our suffering? Love. Wow. Powerful stuff. And if we're able to obtain this so-called love, do you think we can all be freed from our eternal pain and regain our status in heaven? Yes. Incredible. So what is love exactly? I'm not sure. I only know that I no longer have the omnipresent love of heaven, and I need a replacement. I see. Well, thank you for your time, and I hope the next time we meet you'll have been successful, for the sake of us all. That is very interesting. I mean, I was going to say that your love doesn't look like, well, uh, how any of us would associate with that word, but that's because you literally don't understand what it is you're looking for. It's something that you know intrinsically because you felt it sometime long ago. Maybe you barely remember it. And you're trying to recapture it by mimicking the aesthetics of it. This game's got something to it. So what's with the goat thing in the corner? Maybe I just have to find that out for myself. And that is its true form. There's something over here too. There are some business cards here with the name T-A-D written on them. World famous traveling artifact dealer, AKA T-A-D, will trade artifacts for yowzas. Will trade with angels, humans, and demons alike. Many useful upgrades available of all kinds. For all kinds. So that's what we do with Yowzas. Well, if we have a look at our collection, we've got four. And we've got one Yowza. Yang, miss. Oh, it's you. I've seen you walk into Marty's shop. You must have been one of those strange ghosts I saw in town earlier. Yes, in your ghost form, you were outside the window of the shop. I am no ghost. Ghosts are simple beings with simple purposes and desires. No, no, no. Okay, so you just confirmed that ghosts do exist. You just scratched your chin with your tongue. Is it possible to learn this power? Before you is the great traveling artifact dealer. Or T ad for short. I specialize in rare and valuable items. I often trade with Marty Online via electronified mail and various electronified online forums. This is going to be hard. I'm going to stop doing it. Weren't you meant to meet up with him? I was, but alas, I forgot that Marty is not part of my realm, thus unable to recognize my me face to face. That one that doesn't even work there. Come on now. I've already booked my stay at the hotel, though, so I'll be around town for the next few days regardless. How intriguing. If you ever pass a peculiar item of note on your travels, bring them to me, for I, Tad, can exchange them for the appropriate value in Yowzas. Yowzas. Where have I heard that word before? From the incredible Marty, of course. His influences reach far and wide in the celestial realm. All of our currency is now based on the delightful concept of Yowzas. You can use Yowzas to upgrade your capabilities. Artifacts for Yowzas and Yowzas for upgrades. It's simple, really. Uh, and where in there is there a battle pass? Do you have anything of note, my new friend? Hmm. Well, we can sell these things. Uh... 18 Yowzas. There you go. A rare Angel of Hope? I'll give you 18 Yowzas for it. Sure. Is there any reason why we wouldn't want to? A wonderful item. This icon depicts the Angel of Love. He suffers the saddest love story of all. 
Your patronage is always appreciated. All right, let's sell some more. Uh, oh, it already marks as sold. So this is the total number in the game, but we can, uh, all right, it'll, it'll always be available for examination. Let's sell the ancient halo. Ancient halo, I'll give you 13, sure. This is the best way we can learn more about them. Wowza, this is old. When an angel's halo is stolen, it petrifies into a weak stone. It's useless, but humans believe they still bring good luck. Okay. It's a little annoying that we have to do it one at a time, but for how few are in the game, and since each one is unique, I suppose it should take time. Statue of Mercy, 24. Amazing. Dogs are loyal beyond belief. Even in the afterlife, they'll seek out their companions. And one more. The Warrior of Change. A stone figure of a knight with a horse's head. A classic angelic warrior. These figures were popular toys when I was young. Oh, so you're basically a toy collector. All right, now let's buy upgrades. Whatever takes your fancy. Some of these things are still locked. Requires Third Eye Stun Plus. These other things we can still get. Uh, we can increase our health. We can increase our damage. Pistol damage would probably be the better thing. We can increase our water bottle capacity. Our clip size. Okay, we have 77 Yowzas, so I think pistol damage and clip size would be the best thing right away. Increasing stun time would be a good third. Pistol damage, very popular. Let's do it. Yeah, this is pretty slow and cumbersome, but I think I should have just enough for the next thing. Uh, 18, that will leave us with nine remaining Yowzas. There you go. Also, I love the idea that this was all just based on something Marty said, and it caused an entire new economic system. All right, but we should be a lot more capable in combat from now on. Now, as for this thing right here, there's a contraption blocking this doorway. Uh, there must be something more we can do here. Even here, there's blood smears everywhere. Ravenous demon. Oh god, we're gonna have to be fighting you guys at some point, huh? The wait times have been dreadful ever since that orange human started working here. Talk about a decline in service. Oh, you're talking about Daryl. Yeah, the other one's not here yet. I'll be leaving a formal complaint. Loud demon. It's rude to make me wait. Why does your duchess think they are the only demon worthy of respect? That was a loud demon. Oh my god. I'm sorry? Did you come here from Signalis? There's a note here advertising something. Creed's Postal Service. Need to send a message to the underworld? Or even just the normal world? Postman Creed has got you covered. I don't work for free, though. Find me at any post box and we can sort out your postage membership. Credits for first time members this week only. Creed. You know, I never did examine the post box on the street. <laughs> Chef Armando. Make the dishes bigger, Chef Armando. Make the food more flavorful, Chef Armando. Well. Chef Armando would if Chef Armando was given quality meats and seasonings. Chef Armando can't even get his own kitchen. Daryl's backlog of shipments have completely cluttered the space. The energy of the kitchen is most important when creating culinary masterpieces. Chef Armando cannot work until it has been cleared. Ah, you there. Are you the latest shipment to come in? Quickly, turn around so Chef Armando can grade your quality. Uh, no, no I'm not. You barely have anything to work with anyway. Daryl's supply continues to disappoint. This human does not understand quality food. 
Chef Armando has a list of underworld-class ingredients that would be most helpful in the kitchen. Something sour and crunchy. Something flaming hot and spicy. Something yeasty and bubbly. These items could give the menu the rejuvenation it desperately cries out for. With these ingredients, this kitchen would be the best that the demon world has to offer. Is that what your guests actually want? It is. They simply do not know it yet. If only Chef Armando could acquire such delicate, hard-to-find ingredients. My coin purse of Yowza's would open generously for anyone who could supply my needs. Okay, let's have a look around. Of course, I imagine you're aware of all these things. Hmm. Hotel manager. Chaos! It's all in chaos! Chef Armando has been unable to prepare the meals on time, so now everything is delayed. If we don't get these tables set quickly, our guests will attempt eating each other. I've seen it happen once before. Yeah, well, that's the clientele you chose to cater to. Please wait outside with the other guests. Uh, you can't tell me what to do. We're working hard to keep our visitors satisfied. But it's hard to keep up with the lack of fresh meat coming in. Daryl's been the most frustrating human to work with. I hope he ends up like our last supplier. Let me guess, they ended up becoming meat themselves? Welcome. You look very... <laughs> fresh. We can try to find a slot for you at the buffet today, but you might have to wait until tomorrow. Chester! Scram, little lady. I'm practicing for my performance tomorrow. I'm sort of a big deal around here. Disturbing me during my rehearsals could ruin the entire show. Good luck. Luck? <laughs> luck has nothing to do with it. I'm a trained entertainer. Everything you see before you is skill-based. There's a real craft required to put on a show like this. Noted. But there's gotta be something we can do somewhere, right? By the way, let's have a look at that set behind you. A horse missing its heart. And chains leading straight up to heaven. So, vanity is a sin. There are various unrecognizable dishes on the table. They smell delicious. I'll be honest, I am curious about demon food now. Okay, well, hopefully we can find something for Chef Armando. I could try to set out on my own. I should head home. Let's look around a little more. I just, uh, I think I've looked at just about everything. Maybe now that we met Daryl, we can talk to Clarissa again? <laughs> I'll be at the bar tomorrow. Catch up with me there if you're interested. Okay. Maybe we just need to go back, write this all off as a dream, again, and see where we go from there. The walk home is far from here. I don't think it would be safe. Especially after what happened to Robin. If Robin could be taken so easily, what chances do I have? Maybe I can call a taxi to come and pick me up? <laughs> Need to make a call? I can do that for you. I recognize that voice. You're the... Operator? You're the one I heard on the phone. You're as clever as they come, Michelle. It's dangerous out there at this time of night. You can ride with me. I'm headed where you're going. How do you know where I'm going? Because I know you, Michelle. We have a lot to catch up on. You want your ex back, right? I think you'll want to hear what I have to say. Let's take my car, shall we? You need a car?
What do you want from me? I bet you have everyone whispering in your ear, telling you how to handle your current predicament. You're a very special person in a very special position. That gives you options, Michelle. I just saw Robin mauled before my own eyes. I don't really care how special I am right now. I'm sorry for your loss, truly. But what if all this pain but what if all this pain could bring back the person you love the most? Your ex, Leslie, has left you behind, hasn't she? She's an okay actress. She's done alright, snagging that role in what's it called? Dying Petals? I can get her back for you. Her career doesn't have to go that far. I may be able to make some changes. All of your pain gone in the safety of her arms. I'll give you the chance to defeat your pursuer, the Duchess, in a way no one else can. What? How? And why? Your act of heroism will not only save the rest of your little town friends, but also take a massive thorn out of my side. Your ex always said you were never able to grow, and has your chance. Become the hero you were meant to be. Grow into the woman your ex can love. Escape this curse, destroy the demon, and ride away with your princess. So, what do you say? Want to join forces? Everything's a deal with the devil. This is the first real big choice we've made. <clears throat> I feel like we just have to... I feel like we just have to find Benedict. I don't trust any of you. I need time to think about this. Because there's obviously a catch to this. Obviously when you're working with demons, everyone is trying to get something out of you and put a new curse on you. And I just noticed your horns grow out of your eyes. I was kind of looking at the one in the dialogue box. So that's cool. Oh my god. You are Lucy. That's Lucy's demon form. Okay, I need time to think about this. Very well. I wouldn't want to pressure you. Sleep on it. I'll check in with you tomorrow, just in case you change your mind. I'll drop you off at the church. Since you managed to get Robin killed, you're the best person to break the news to their partner, Benedict. God. See you around, Michelle. <gasps> Lucy! It makes sense. You had the phone in your hand. You were always the- You had a red phone in your hand. It was always right there. Oh, but you're, you still don't want to talk to me, huh? Okay. right at the end of our street. But maybe we'll have the key soon. Okay, there's an invisible wall over here. It seems so misplaced against that sky. City lights right there. The entrance to the church crypt. It's sealed, and I have no reason to go in there. But why did the developers have reason to put it there and tell us that, hmm? sense that spirits would have a reason to hang out around here. Scared spirit. 
It's safe in the church. The demons can't eat me here with Benedict keeping watch. Why would anyone go outside? We might be special, but some things are just morsels. Encouraging spirit. I'm so bored sitting inside. I miss the world I used to belong to. Perhaps I can find the strength to go out again. Praying spirit. I feel sorry for that repenting demon. You can feel the anguish he's going through. I'm offering a prayer for him. Would you like to join me? I suppose so. Just the thought, a demon repenting in church. While sympathetic spirits watch on. I... I can feel the pain. I must endure the pain to make up for my sins. Is it working? Anything. I'll do anything to rejoin the Holy Ones. They must see my dedication. And that's so interesting because instead of being an opposing force to the Holy Ones, all they want is to rejoin the light. It's like the original like biblical depictions of hell where it's, it's not so much physical torture as an absence of God. These wooden pews have rotted significantly. And is there anything in the other booth? No. This altar has a decorative cloth. The embroidery is intricate. And this must be Benedict, right? <laughs> oh, look at that. It looks almost like... Well, it, it looks like an angel watching over its flock that it protects. Third Eye reveals that it's more or less an administrative job. Looks he's even got a holy server farm back here. Large computer servers. They make a quiet hum. Hello? Are you... Benedict? You're right on time. My calculations, accounting for your past behaviors, predicted that we'd cross paths at this point. <laughs> Robin always talks about you, Michelle. I bet it's nothing good. You're a good friend to them. Better than you think. Hmm. I can't be that good of a friend. They... I didn't know what to do. It was all so sudden. Robin was only trying to help me. Stupid curse. <laughs> uh, they only came along to help me. If I wasn't cursed, then none of this would have happened. This is all my fault. Michelle, please get up. I'm sorry, but Robin wasn't down there only to help you. They... So Robin died because I got in the way? Please don't be so hard on yourself. It's not what you think. They're dead. Your partner of however many years. Don't you care? Robin's not... Dead? What the hell, Michelle? I'm not dead. It wasn't pleasant, but I didn't die. Robin, you're alive! Of course I am! Don't act so surprised! You think I would die that easily, Michelle? That would be such a rubbish way to go. No way I'd let myself have such a pathetic end. Anyway, I see you met Benedict. The smartest angel you'll ever meet. I wasn't expecting Benedict to be an angel. How does that work? Between the two of you. It doesn't. Not how we want it to, anyway. And that's why I was at the station in the first place. Michelle, I've applied some of my strongest formulae to your history, and the results have been astounding. You can deeply alter the future of celestial beings. 
all within the next few days. Including the fate of Robin and me. I didn't want to get you involved initially, but the station has proven me wrong. You're strong, Michelle, and we can use your help. For now, let's try and focus on what we need to sort out your curse. Benedict will be able to punch in some numbers and figure out how you can survive this or whole ordeal. Hmm. It'll take some time. You should go back home and rest. Meet me here tomorrow. I'll have the results by then. This key will open the gate back to the town and churchyard. If you have any other questions, I'll be here. I have so many. And also, I'm... <laughs> I'm really glad this game is not afraid to allow the story beats to land with their full weight, because I was really worried that with a game like this, they would be so focused on style and quirkiness that it wouldn't allow the characters to breathe and feel real in this way. But I'm glad it's able to do that and communicate it when it needs to, all without compromising on the feel that it went for in the first part. Benedict will stay up until he figures this out. You should go home and recharge. Do angels need to sleep? Sorry about what happened to Robin. It's fine. It's difficult to take Robin down. Wouldn't be the first time they had to fight their way out of a demon's stomach, either. Robin is comically clumsy, but they always pull through. Together, we will succeed in finding the relic. About you and Robin... I've known Robin since before they were a demon. There's a before? What were they before being a demon? I can't imagine them as anything else now. I've noticed that humans have a very binary view of how demons and angels are meant to look and behave. I see the subtext there. It's less about how a being is and more about what changes they undergo. Demons tend to have an unresolved sense of self more so than any other person you might have met. It's not my place to say what's happened. Robin can tell you, when they're ready to talk about it. Is there anything else you wanted to ask? What's the computer for? You would think I'd have a lot of time on my hands, having to guard a door all day, but no. Ever since humans came up with the idea of computers, Heaven has found a way for me to do additional tasks remotely. That's awful. It's not so bad. I get to do things like help lost kittens find new homes, prevent accidental deaths, and play solitaire. Guarding a door without a computer. Did you know I invented the word boredom? <laughs> it's true. Is it dangerous to date a demon? It can be, I won't lie. But does that make it wrong? I don't believe so. What makes it dangerous? Love changes us. It's not known what happens exactly, but I do know that loss of power is an effect. There are rumors that when an angel and demon fall in love, eventually they both become human. Does that scare you? Yes. If we become human, then we'll have a human lifespan. We'll die. Robin will die. It hurts to imagine it, but it hurts more to imagine living without them. Why not stay with Robin in the church forever? Robin can't stay here for too long. They'll start to break out in hives. What about a human and a demon? I know why you're asking. I would discourage the notion, but I do understand it. I'm not entirely sure what would happen with a human and a demon. I've never run any calculations on such a situation before. It's so cool how this game is actually delving into the lore, asking the what-ifs. We should do more than break the curse. If that was a good idea, I would have suggested it. Destroying the Duchess might give me the courage to get my axe back. Besides, aren't angels meant to vanquish evil? We each have our own purpose. Generally, I try to protect and undo harm, not dole out vigilante justice. 
behaving in such a way normally has the opposite effect of what you wish to happen. Alright. But maybe this is still an opportunity we can take advantage of. Could we use the Duchess instead? I don't understand your angle here. This is our shot to get on the Duchess' good side. They could give us whatever we want. I can't be the only one who finds that appealing. It doesn't appeal to me in the slightest. I suppose you already have your own demon you can boss around. <sighs> What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> I guess you're just willing to leave it there, huh, Benedict? Alright, never mind. Get some rest, Michelle. Come back and see me tomorrow. I will. You're basically encouraging us not to be tempted, which makes sense. Isn't that so appropriate that all the demons are trying to dangle something we want in front of us, but we know there's probably some great cost? The Angel Benedict confirms there's a great cost and encourages us, even if we have the opportunity, even if we have the opportunity to do things that he wants, to just stay on track, that there's a plan for us painting of a forlorn being, in fact, one we've seen before. The painting has been vandalized with the word disgraced written over it. Hmm. What about the one over here? Have we examined it yet? An old community notice board that's seen better days. There's a note on the board. Inappropriate mixing. It has come to my attention that various angels in this particular area have taken to mixing with the darkness, i.e. demons. Let me remind you that this activity is unacceptable and will result in harsh consequences. I'll be around this location for the next few days to enforce due punishment to repeat offenders. Beloved. They had their rules and they had their bureaucracy. Maybe some of it for good reason, but... Even angels can't always help themselves. Looks like we have some visitors. You become an embarrassment. Look at yourself. Your halo is in such awful condition. You won't be able to keep this up for much longer. But he's the love of my life. I, I love him. I mean, I hate him too, but I, I definitely do love him. I can't abandon him. Especially when he needs me most. He's abandoned you. Hasn't he forbidden you to see him? This is the perfect chance to right your wrongs. Your exile from heaven can still be overturned. Kick your bad habits to the curb and leave him behind. You're hardly recognizable as an angel anymore. You're weak and changing too rapidly. Change. Of course he changes me. Isn't that the purpose of love? That's why I need him. If I wanted to be more of the same, I would keep my own company. It's not that bad. Ugh. Never mind. I think I'm going to be sick. I miss him. I hate him. I've been sent to clean up this <laughs> this crap hole of a town for a few days. If you can clean, if you can clean up your act before I leave, I'll put in a good word for you. Otherwise, what's going on here? Yeah, I've been standing right here this entire time. She can see us. She must be one of the cursed humans. What a pain. Let's go before things get more complicated than they have to. Maybe we can help? I mean... Yeah, it seems like Angel Society is the more straight-laced, the more overtly good, but their society is also harsh and rigid, and... There's so many unrealistic expectations that I guess lead to so many problems that they don't need to have. Okay, well, we should be able to get out of here now.
like the card is closed up for the night. I know it's dangerous to be out this late, but I need something to do. My life is so boring, I can't stand it. And I figured if I could get kidnapped too. And I figured if I could get kidnapped too, I can see what all the fuss is about. I wish I was an interesting person with a life full of drama and excitement like Epiphany Oxblood and Canary Rouge. And you're just a guy. Postman Creed! Careful, I'm doing me deep breathing techniques. This part of me delivery route is the worst. Delivery route? Aren't you a demon? Yeah. And check it. I'm a postman too. <laughs> Ain't it cool? I deliver all sorts of non-human types. I deliver all sorts for us non-human types. I usually wait for the human postman most of the time though. Gotta grab them celestial letters quick from the post box when he opens it up. If you know what I mean, you can't physically do it yourself. Postman Creed is what they call me. I never would have guessed being a postman was a thing demons would do. Why do they call you Postman Creed? No idea, mate. Now, if you'll excuse me, I better get back to my deep breathing. But if we check out the box itself, we cannot. You know, I could open it for you. It's funny how this has like an almost men in black tone with regards to these angels and demons just being around. Okay, let's take a save. Congrats on surviving your first night. What can I do for you? And you're just listed as Lucy from now on. Okay. And yeah, we should chat though. It's a bit late to talk to someone so boring. Let's keep this brief. Okay, God, I thought you were just there to give wisdom at certain points in the game. Look at you, disgruntled demon. It used to be so easy to find a midnight snack any day of the week. Ever since the Duchess started snatching up humans left and right from this area, everyone stays indoors. The powerful ones always make it tough for us little guys. I guess I can always eat at Oakley's. Not a bad idea. Leave me alone. I have enough messes to clean up around here. How anyone could stand this place is beyond me. This is a hub for unruly angels, it turns out. Two counts of inappropriate mixing, and one angel unable to meet her demon extinguishing quota. I particularly need to keep my eye on Chamuel. Camuel? Not sure. Don't care. It's been boarded up properly this time. Good. I don't know what the deal is with that mural. I find it so strange that we could actually just walk out of that hotel. That it's actually a physical place somewhere. Hey, love. You look exhausted. All those scrapes and cuts, especially the one on your forehead. You must have had an exciting night. I've had a tough day. Exciting is right. I'd rather not talk about it. I would want to vent everything to the first person that asked. Exciting is right. That's amazing. I'm so happy for you. Do tell a friend what's been going on, will you? Maybe another time. I'm so tired I could faint. Well, we need to have a proper chinwag sometime. It's been a while since we've had a gossip sesh. I have a lovely black dress that arrived in my shop today. It would be perfect for you. I guess I could go and try it on. Even if I can't afford to buy it. I'll be seeing you around then, love. Oh, it's a wheelchair. I couldn't even tell from the other angle. Yeah, 
at number nine, I'm still a bit concerned about the resident. Uh, yeah, maybe we should be a little bit more concerned about that. Just perhaps. You there. Oh, right. You have a door straight to the place. Care to join me? Um, I'd rather not. Your hesitation indicates that you might be so inclined with enough convincing. Spending more time together would help make you the right... Sh Wait. Spending more time together would help you make the right choices far more quickly. The link from my hotel door to your room will make visitations far more efficient. This is going way too fast. Whatever happened to the art of courting? Is this it? Is my time up too? Not yet. It takes a few days for my, or for my affection to really sink in. I do, however, like to check on the progress of my darlings before our eternal matrimony is settled. Come. Sit. Do you love me yet? What? Who or what even are you? I've never heard of a demon that looks for love. Are you overcomplicating your role a bit? I mean, seriously, look at you. You should have no trouble with this. Normally, the stories talk about stealing souls and torture, not speed dating. We demons all want souls for something. I happen to need love. And you show the signs of someone who can give that to me. Maybe, but it's not something you can take. In a mere few days, you'll belong to me, Michelle. There's so much fun to be had. Eventually, you will love me. I believe you can. I have to. Why are you so desperate for love? And why do you think I, of all people, can give it to you? It's an empty existence without it. You and I are the same. We both had it. Then it was taken from us. It leaves a festering wound where its exit remains. Human hearts have the power to heal. Your pain is fleeting. Your minds can change. I need that. When you've lost love like I have, there's no coming back from that alone. I need something to fix it. I've been looking for some time. And there's something special about you. I get the feeling that you've said that to many, many people before. Well, I don't need the feeling. We saw your hallway. Hmm. Well, I don't want to come out as antagonistic. Leading you on is leading you on, but it might be the most useful thing, especially if we want to cash in on that later. Though I'm still not so sure that's a good idea. Why do you pick me? I have my resources. I know someone who can sense when a person is hollow inside. Before him, I used to pick anyone at random. But with his help, I've made better progress with my latest targets. He must not be that great of a marksman if he picked me this time around. You should surround yourself with more competent company. If I were a lesser demon, I might have taken that as an insult. I'm bored. Next time, it would be in your best interest to be more entertaining. Swoon. I'd love to have a relaxing bath, but I really need to scrub the tub, so I'll do it next week. Maybe there's a nicer looking alternate version? There kinda is. Uh, but I guess it doesn't matter. We can drink some water just right out of the bathroom sink. Sure. Yeah. Otherwise, though, everything seems more or less the same. Can't even fix the mirror this way. Did we ever wash those dishes? Guess we don't have a choice. It's chipped on one side, but... Still my favorite. Not much going on here. I'm not hungry anyway. 
don't know, but perhaps we can dream. Better get some rest. After all that, I'm still sleeping in my own bed like it's another normal day. I wonder what Leslie would think. If she even thinks about me anymore. How am I meant to process this all? All the friends I thought I knew have these hidden parts of their lives I've never seen before. I almost lost Robin, too. And now there are new faces to get familiar with. So, so many. The Duchess. <sighs> I've not had anyone's attention for so long. Love is terrifying. Maybe this isn't as bad as it seems. Fear is a powerful tool. I've never had power like that. It must be nice. I wonder if I might have influence like that too. The temptation is there. Your influence will be removed. You won't have any use of your dreams either. So let's cut this one short. thing which greeted us to the demon world, it still beckons to us, still wants us. So many things vying for what we have, which I suppose indicates that we are the ones in control. Hey, Lucy. I heard Robin survived. You didn't get them killed after all. How delightful. I always knew that you were the smart one out of all your friends, which should make working with me a breeze. Have you thought any more about our chat last night? Are you ready to get Leslie back? I need more time to think. Time isn't on your side right now, Michelle. My offer still stands, but it won't be available forever. I'll see you again. Hopefully before you've screwed anything up permanently. Time to lock up. Time's running out on this offer, and it is tempting, but... I also feel like, I feel like I'm being pulled three ways. We can side with the Duchess, we can side with Lucy, or we can side with Benedict. Of course I want to side with Benedict and Robin. They may not be the path to fortune and glory, but they can at least restore the status quo. There's the meat shipment. Hopefully we can do something with that. I don't know. There's just a lot of indecision, and I don't know how much of an impact I have on this. And there's real pressure in the story, too. That's the thing. Oh, and as a quick addendum, I'd just like to point out that this game is really fleshing out its world and characters in this part, and I love it. Like, I really did not think it would be capable of this much depth, but, well, here we are. And if you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. If you have any ideas for other videos you think I should do, the best place to suggest that will be at the Discord, which I will link in the description. If you want to try the scan out for yourself, that link will also be in the description. If you want to support me on Patreon, that link will be in the description. And as always, I will see you in the next one. <laughs>